Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Sharon Nuhidaya binti Muhammad Din. I'm a master student in City University of Malaysia. Today, I want to present my master project is IoT in Education for Visual Impairment Students. This is my introduction. IoT is the best mediator that connects human equipment in daily life. IoT enables devices to act as a learning aid that help learning process for students with disability directly raise the spirit of learning and teaching in the classroom. Furthermore, the use of appropriate equipment can help the learning environment, student activities, and the relationship of ideal information of the basis of learning and teaching. The equipment is designed to facilitate the, need, the needs of this special student learning and teaching process. Many challenges will be faced by teachers and students themselves. Pedagogical taxonomy needs to be emphasized so that this learning process can be carried out easily, comfortably, and smoothly. However, mental and physical stress must be taken into account to ensure that students, teachers, parents can access the effective domain of the user. Next is overview disability. In the body of person, various challenges are faced in teaching children with special needs in terms of physical need. Uh, there are few notable accessible devices well known to public such as a wheelchair, walking cane, hearing aids, and braille. The additional viewed environment is enforced throughout large cities. For example, the curb walkway was equipped with dotted light dotted line, voice-assisted pedestrian traffic light, and braille and boss street name code. Next is overview of IoT. Referring to the term Internet of Things, IoT, which is improvement from the inclusion of something into the Internet, play an active role in making information access easily and connected. Looking at this context, context, IoT seems to be able to expand the inclusion of internet connectivity and appliance to human. It enables uh, uh, advanced services by connecting information and communication technologies. The characteristic of IoT is interconnecting, linking of things or devices to the internet, exclusively identifiable things and devices, ubiquity, sensing and uh, actuation ability, and embedded intelligence. The IoT base was offer, often referred to assistive technology. There is three uh, categories for assistive technology, focusing on blind or visually uh, impacted individuals. The, the three categories were navigation, reading, and asset tracing. Next is IoT and education for visually impact. Difficulties faced by uh, visually impaired person uh, that are an obstacle, sending the current location to uh, in case they get lost. Okay, Braille notation uh, device, for example, pin dots is a device made to assist students to make six dot Braille notation by using the low cost self viewed devices. Obstacle detection and object identification is a smart stick to identify object ahead of them, notifying user using. Uh, through the smartphone, uh, ultrasonic sensor, GPS, and Arduino. Voice control guider system facilitates student movement throughout campus by using their mobile with strategies placed on small IoT devices to assist in navigating. Finger one device to assist the student in reading, specifically for uh, Chinese character for Chinese student. This device uh, detect the fingertip as pointing device and a pointing device and read Chinese character. One light device that identifies text by a standardized coded messages is good device for reading and publish a book. Speech automa automation examination assists students sitting for their examination. Next is research question. There are four uh, main uh, research questions are involved in this study. Okay, for, uh, for number one, RQ1. What are the types of disability of student? RQ2, what are the challenges of visual impairment students compared to normal students? RQ3, how is IoT able to assist students with visual impairment disabilities? RQ4, what is the future of IoT technologies for assisting a student with visual impairment disability? Next is 
research objective. There are four research objectives in these studies and research studies are uh, the first one to uh, understand the types of disabilities that exist among students. RO2, to learn what are the challenges visually impact students, how to face compared to normal students. Research objective three, to gather information on how IoT may assist students with visual impairment. And the last one is to overview the future of IoT technology for assisting a student with visual impairment disability. Okay, this is my conclusion. Introducing IoT assistive technology helps uh, has helped in three major ways. One, <clears throat> with IoT object and obstacle can be identified easily. The second one, making notation is how accessible with the, the making and embossing output of bio, text via computer. The last one is uh, IoT contributes directly to the advancement of technology assisted for visually impairment students. This is my reference. There are 50 references that I uh, refer to my research. Thank you. That's all for me. Have a nice day.